Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to do another video on my Rugby League Life 3 thoughts and ideas. And this episode is, as you can tell by the title, is uh, intercepts. Now, I think this is a major problem um, with the game, and it almost single-handedly makes the game shit. Um, I think for a lot of people, it probably has turned them off the game. For me, because I'm like a, uh, I'm really a fan of Rugby League, for the most part. Um, I can put up with it. But at the same time, like I've experienced it so often, it is so frustrating, and I'm almost sure that it's just there so you can lose some games, um, because the game's not very hard to to win once you get the hang of it. And the only way I seem to lose is if I throw about four or five intercepts trying to attack. So um, yeah, intercept. It, it's just they're really really bad, and they happen a lot of times when it shouldn't happen. And for the most part, it's usually not your fault. It's just the, the game's fault for um. Not picking out the person that you want to pass with because the pass the pass system is okay. I suppose there's not real, not too many things they can do to improve it. I suppose, but when you do a quick pass, it just picks out the wrong person, and you can't you can't manually just pick out the the person you want to. Sometimes if they're right next to you, you because if you hold in the the cut up ball, obviously they don't come up. But then if you do a quick pass, they still don't come up. Like they won't pass it to them. So it's quite annoying when you take to the line. You want to do a short pass to the person next to you, and then they throw a cut-out pass for no reason, and then there's an intercept, bam, you're behind 6-0, um, straight on the post, and obviously, uh, well, not obviously, but most of the times when they throw intercepts, um, the props outpace the fullbacks and stuff, and it's really shit and quite annoying, um, especially when it happens three or four times in a game. Uh, as you can tell by my Warriors um, versus Rabbitohs, I think it's round 18 or 19, something like that, episode 19, you can go back and have a look at that, just how many intercepts I threw, and just how annoying it actually was. Um, also, another thing is sometimes when you throw an intercept and the ball will go normal, it looks like a good pass, and then all of a sudden they'll just like, I don't know, teleport or jump like the opposition this is. They'll just teleport or just jump and just like somehow end up with the ball. Even people in the comments have said like, oh wow, that like, that shouldn't have ended up with them. Like they'll be standing five meters away, and then all of a sudden, bam, they've got the ball somehow, and it's like, wait, what? That's some bullshit there. How did that even happen? So it is a very big issue in this game, and I'm surprised they didn't really fix it too much. I think they might have. You can turn off intercepts, but obviously intercepts happen in the game. You shouldn't have to turn them off, because there are going to be times when intercepts do happen. Um, sometimes you can you can read it. There's been plenty of times where I've read and been like, oh yeah, they're going to pass it there, and I get myself in there and intercept and run away with the wingers, as, as you know it does happen in real life. But it shouldn't be happening every set, nearly. Like it's. So it's so stupid. Obviously, you can say, "Oh, play smarter. Don't, don't pass it all the time." But forwards do pass it in between each other. Look at the Bulldogs. It happens all the time. How often do the forwards throw an intercept? Like very rarely. So, yeah, it's really not the intercepts, and it's the worst part of the game, in my opinion. And yeah, I think it almost single-handedly destroys the game if it hasn't already. For me, it hasn't, but for a lot of people, I, I'm assuming it has, and they really need to fix that up for the next Rugby League Live Three. Um, I'm not sure how they, they fix it. They might have to change the passing system. Um, I'm not real sure. Maybe just the, the running of the, the, the plays. The plays, in theory, are good, but the, the plays don't seem to work in the game. You can see their running lines and that sort of stuff, and a lot of times they overrun you by the time you even got the ball, which isn't very good. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's all I've got to say about intercepts. I've been going for about four minutes, so that's good enough. So, um... Yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below about intercepts and also any suggestions for some next, some more videos. Um, I'll take them on board. And also uh, subscribe to the channel and make sure you leave a like. 15 is what we're going for. And yeah, I'll see you for the next episode, guys. Bye.